dia lag pula kan. Should, should I reduce my ni? Uh, apa? Speaker or sound? You dengar humming tak? Oh, okay je. Okay je. Uh, okay. Because I set to half lah. Because uh -huh. kalau kuat lah, nanti dia macam Ada background kan loss. Lah. Uh -huh. hmm. okay. okay. Semua okay. Saya rasa mungkin ramai akan tanya kot yang ni. Wah. <laughs> Sebab, sebab judging from all the section, semua orang tanya pasal like MOOC kan. Maksud dia mereka tak berapa tahu. Pasal. Tahu? MOOC apa? Um, bukan MOOC, MOOC dengan brass dua-dua. The different is it? Bukan. Dia masa kita bagi macam Title? kelas yang lain, kelas hmm? yang lain kan. Hmm. Mereka akan tanya uh, uh, seolah-olah mereka masih belum mahir dengan dengan ni dengan dengan putra bras lagi tau. So oh. I think it's a good thing lah we have this. But yeah. <laughs> I I have seen apa uh, 36 videos from under K. Uh, yes. Putra bras channel. Mm -mm. Putra bras channel. 36 yes. videos kan. Takkanlah. Uh. Video dengan dengan tutorial punya panduan yes. pun ada tapi mm. bukan semua orang tahu. <laughs> Yes, that's correct. So that's why it's very important. Mm. Uh, back to brass. Sebab mm. uh, if we provide other topic, people akan tanya, uh, boleh tak dia ganti brass? Semua akan tanya soalan yang macam tu. But, uh -huh. but, tapi padahal most of the function can be done using... Same, because yes. it's under mudah. Uh, I, I, will, I will highlight that one too. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm. And then I... Uh, oh, I haven't shared the... Uh, PDF kan, the slides because I have I did some changes lah. Mm -hmm. uh, I will share to Yasmin lah later. The the final. Okay. Alright. Uh, nanti ya sekejap. Be right back. Doktor Wan macam mana? Doktor Wan pakai apa guna background tu ya? Okay, uh, you change kat, kat video tu kalau you boleh set background baru dekat Ooh, right click. Choose virtual, virtual dekat background. Video, choose virtual background. Alright. Dan tu background tu saya buat sendiri. Alright. Nak promote Putra Educator tu kan. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Sure. Dr. Fat akan join kita ke? Hmm, biasa dia kat YouTube sana. <laughs> oh, I see. Dia ah, biasa dia dekat YouTube. Ah, ah. Biasa dia dekat YouTube. So, saya hari ini pun ah, akan jaga YouTube tu lah. Right. Hebat-hebat ni orang-orang kek ni. Tak ada lah. Okay, dah live lah. Saya nak nampak. Ah, dah, YouTube dah live. Hmm. -mm. I I don't have uh, any YouTube account, so I don't uh, I can check. Okay, no problem. Uh, ada apa apa saya forward kat Zoom. Hmm. Oh, kat Zoom or oh, under chat box is it? Um, nanti saya akan terus tanya lah. Okay. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, uh, nanti you boleh check juga dekat Q&A tu nanti dekat mm -hmm. chat Q&A chat tu Q&A punya ah uh, uh, ni room. button dia. Ah, uh -huh. uh, button Q&A biasa. Dia akan tanya kat situ. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Kat bawah tu kan. Okay, kat ada yeah. participant, ada Q&A. So, I can switch lah. Uh, apa? English and BM kan? Boleh. Uh, it's okay. Flexible.
Ada dua puluh kadung. Hmm, YouTube belum lagi. YouTube tak ada attendee ah. lagi. Ah, ah. Nanti nama di after this lah. Dia kita dah mula dia. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do I have to fill up the attendance form? Later. Oh, later ke? Okay. Nak test boleh lah. Ya, ah. Dia buka. Cuma your speaker mah tak payah lah. <laughs> oh, YouTube dah ada. YouTube dah ada kan? Takut juga ni sebenarnya saya tak berapa expert juga nak share ni. Uh, <laughs> yang, pen yang penting uh, uh, internet stable, Dr. Chong ada, everybody is here. It's just sharing session kan? <laughs> sharing session je ya? Uh, uh, sharing session uh, uh, because everybody pun dia nak, nak explore ada something yang... Mm -hmm. Saya rasa attendees kita pun ada orang yang pandai Pandai Putra Bras pun nanti tak tahu boleh tanya mereka okay. Hmm kan, sebab ha. dah lama kan I pun tak, sebab I not using Putra Bras this time I dah totally tu Putra Mook So kita dah develop Okay You dah ada uh, Mook ha. punya ni kan okay. Total one nak 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 ha. Okay, nak I start beat. dulu hmm. uh, It's 11.30 Hmm uh, Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera. Uh, I'm Wan Marzuki, Kids Deputy Director for Academic Staff Development. Uh, so I would like to welcome everyone to uh, Kids Online CPD Training Programs. So our online CPD training program is a Kids initiative to offer flexible learning where participants can take course from their places. Uh, so course content can also be assessed immediately after the online training session and it is expected that this initiative will assist UPM's academics in teaching and learning that's contributing to university excellence. Eh? Uh, so um, today we have uh, our uh, um, speakers, Dr. Associate Professor Dr. Suryati. How are you Dr. Suryati? Good, Are you here, you. Dr. Suryati? Okay. okay. Yes, okay. Uh, and then we have our moderator, uh, uh, Dr. Chong Chow Min. So, uh, yeah, uh, I would like to uh, welcome uh, uh, our speakers today, uh, Associate uh, Professor Dr. Suryati Paiman from the Faculty of Science, University Putra, Malaysia, to discuss the topics online assessments uh, using uh, Putra Blast and uh, Putra Moks. Eh? So our moderator today is uh, Dr. Chong uh, Chow Min. Eh? Uh, so Dr. Suryati and Dr. Chong, uh, time is yours. Okay, thank you Dr. Wan. Okay, uh, this is the uh, webinar uh, CBD 2020 online learning for all organized by Center of Academic Development. And it is a great honor and pleasure to invite uh, our Speaker today is Associate Professor Dr. Suryati Paiman uh, from Faculty of Science, UPM, to give a speech and demonstrations on online assessment using Putra Brass and Putra Mox. Uh, before this, I would like to remind uh, the participants, uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free, uh, if you are using Zoom, if you are a Zoom user that joining our webinar, 
feel free to type in the uh, Q&A. I will compile uh, the question and from time to time I will ask uh, our speakers, Dr. Sriati today. And for YouTube, feel free to post uh, in the live chat so I can forward the question here. Okay, without further ado, okay, uh, the floor is yours, Dr. Sriati. All right. Let me just uh, share my screen. Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum and good morning, everyone. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Wan, for your very warm welcome. Okay, and also yeah. thank you to Dr. Chong, CM, <laughs> as moderator for our today's session. So before I begin, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Ina or Dr. Faat and uh, Puan Yasmin for inviting me to share my experience on uh, using uh, assessment, online assessment on Putra Blast and Putra Mo for this uh, kit webinar series. Okay. So I'm just checking if everyone can see my screen now. Yes, sure. Okay, okay, great. Okay, so my topic today is the online quiz assessment using Putra Blast and Putra Mo. Okay. The aim of this uh, session is to demonstrate the online uh, quiz assessment through UPM's learning management system, namely Putra Blast and Putra Mo. So at the end of this session, the instructors will be, uh, hopefully will be able to identify, oops, sorry, to identify uh, different types of questions and then to implement okay, different types of questions uh, for various assessment. I will uh, provide and uh, show example uh, or demonstrate uh, demonstration uh, of using uh, different types of uh, question or quiz assessment uh, using Putra Blast and Putra Mo. Okay, so to begin with, I will brief uh, the introduction on uh, Putra Blast and uh, Putra Mo, and then I'll go straight to the quiz assessment uh, and uh, different question and the quiz assessment in Putra Blast and Putra Mo. This includes the setting. For example, uh, our test date, time, duration, even marks and grading. Uh, and then, of course, in between, I will demo different types of uh, question in uh, or quiz. Uh, for example, importing how can we import uh, from Word document to Moodle. And then uh, after that, I'll go to the matching activity assessment, uh, the embedded uh, answer clause, uh, drag and drop, and a little bit on the numerical, okay, if we have time. All right, so as we transition online uh, during this uh, COVID-19 MCO 1 to now MCO 5, okay? So we know that uh, Kate already provide us with lots of uh, teaching approaches, okay? And uh, every day, almost every day, we receive lots of uh, emails uh, from Kate uh, about uh, tutorials, demonstration, webinar series using not limited only using Putra Blast and Putra Mo, but include all of these uh, teaching approaches. For example, Google, uh, Google Classroom, uh, Google Meets, uh, Seesaw, and so on. All right. Okay, but I was given a task from Kate to share with you. Uh, on the online assessment, or I should say quiz assessment, uh, using Putra Blast and Putra Mo. So I, uh, all of us, okay, we know about the Putra Blast. The, the uh, Putra Blast is stands for Blended Learning Assistive System and Technology, while Putra Mo is stands for Massive Open Online Courses. Okay, all of us know about Putra Blast, right? Because it's compulsory for us to update our teaching uh, materials into the Putra Blast. So it's compulsory for all courses offered in UPM. And this Putra Blast uh, started, I think, 2016. Okay, while Putra Mo, 
uh, is uh, initiated, I think, uh, sometimes last year, okay, 2018 or 2019. Okay, it's mainly for the open education. So now, uh, the only 22 out of 44 courses offered uh, for the Putramu. So uh, both Putra Plus and Putramu using the same platform, okay, so called the Moodle uh, platform. See, Moodle. So after this, I might want to use uh, Moodle because it's uh, both Putra Blast and Putra Mood using the same platform. But anyway, I will show you the different uh, screen. Okay, uh, a snapshot from the Putra Blast as well as the Putra Mood. So now UPM uh, using Moodle version 3.5. Okay, in 2016, I think uh, to 2.7 version 2.7, but now with uh, additional functionality, very dynamic. Okay, uh, as we can see, uh, lots of other uh, additional functions. All right, so uh, that is a Putra Blast and Putra Mo. But what is the different uh, for this uh, Putra Mo? Maybe, maybe not, not many of us uh, know about the Putra Mo. Okay, it's actually for the, the open education, and the, the different is about the certification where uh, participants uh, will be charged according to the, the topic that they want to learn, okay? Why, uh, why, why do we need this, okay? As uh, our TNCAA just mentioned a few days ago about the uh, UPM, uh, academic uh, transformation, okay, towards uh, academic uh, transformation. Therefore, we are now uh, trying to increase the number okay, from 22 at least to 44 courses offered by UPM. Okay, so this is a uh, both Putra Move and Putra Blast uh, platform using Moodle. So as you can see in this uh, screen, I'm showing now, uh, same function on the left uh, screen and then this one on the right screen. So the right is the under Putra Blast and this one is under Putra Mook. So uh, because uh, both of these platforms using Moodle, so uh, the function is similar, okay, it's same. So whenever I, I if I show you Putra Mook, it's actually same to Putra Blast. So please don't worry, then you may ask me a question. Okay, coincidentally, I received just a few days ago, Okay, a message from right. Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, no problem. Yeah. Okay, so uh, right. So this a uh, message actually from my uh, old teacher back in my hometown, uh, teacher's son, okay? Uh, he's 25 years old. Okay, as you can read here, saya bercadang untuk kerja sambil belajar, okay? But he is already 25. And wow. kalau dia sambung 4 tahun, it's like 30 years dan dia belum bekerja, okay? And through discussion, uh, dia berminat untuk belajar dan mengambil kos, okay? Semasa bekerja, okay? So, uh, we, we can see here, okay, uh, not all, uh, sorry, I'm going to, okay, uh, not everyone uh, are fortunate okay, to learn uh, to enter university, okay, some of them, uh, but they still have courage to learn, okay, but so this is uh, where MOOC uh, is, uh, can be an, a very important platform for those uh, people out there who cannot learn, who cannot enter university, okay, to, to have, uh, so that we can provide equity in education to, to many of uh, people out there. All right, so while browsing through and uh, while preparing the slides, uh, I found that there are already 36 videos okay, uploaded to the YouTube uh, under Putra Blast channel, okay, by Kate. So you can imagine uh, 36 videos, uh, every single uh, tutorials, a guide on how we create question, how we do uh, continuous assessment, how uh, everything, 
okay, is all on the Putra Blast channel, okay, but uh, not many are using uh, Putra Mo, okay, but uh, my point here, here is uh, nothing is impossible, okay, to a willing heart. Kalau Melayu cakap apa? Uh, kalau tidak, seribu daya. Kalau tak tidak, seribu dalih, kan? Uh, as Kate already provide tutorials, every uh, very details tutorial. But uh, it is really on on uh, individual okay? uh, option. Okay, so uh, as we go uh, online transition, Kate as well, uh, I think almost uh, every day, okay? uh, send us uh, images, uh, tutorials, helping us to run our lecture online, okay? So uh, when I bump into this uh, so-called map, okay? So this is the impl implementation of e-assessment uh, in UPM, all right? And by the way, where, where are we in this map, okay? What I mean is, uh, it's, it's very uh, detailed what uh, is the implement, uh, what can we done okay what what can be done uh, for our teaching online so okay i'm trying to okay so actually uh, putra blast and putra mo is here okay design and develop e assessment instrument since uh, putra blast and putra mo are upm learning management system and then uh, we are encouraged to use this uh, a platform other than, of course, Quizlet, uh, Kahoot, uh, Google Classroom, and so on. Okay, and to do assessment in this Putra Blast and Putra Mo, so we can come up with this uh, type of e assessment. So, what types of question that we can create? Okay, using Putra Blast and Putra Mo. So, under Putra Blast and Putra Mo, there are sixteen okay types of question in the quiz. So what I mean uh, with quiz is uh, uh, included these 16 types of question, okay, or uh, tests, for example, okay. This is, uh, this can be done for summative and formative assessment. And uh, this is uh, different to that, uh, the continuous assessment activities, which I will show you after this, all right. So where can we uh, start if we want to create, uh, if we have choose, okay? What kind of question that we want to create, All right? So we can start with open our courses uh, page, okay? No matter you use Putra Blast or Putra Mo. In my case, I use Putra Mo for this semester. I'm using Putra Mo for my course, okay? But again, uh, I should highlight the same uh, display, okay? The same uh, page you will see in Putra Blast. Okay, so here, by adding an activity or resource, we can add, for example, if I want to add uh, test two, for example. So by clicking this, uh, I can add activity here. For example, test two. By the way, I will show you after this. Okay, let me uh, finish this slide first. All right, so there are lots of uh, activities under uh, Putra Blast and Putra Mo. So this is under uh, Putra Mo, as you can see here, lots of activities can be choose for the continuous assessment. For example, assignment, BBB, okay, um, ga gamifications and so on. If you go further down, you will come to this uh, quiz, okay? So this this quiz is uh, what, uh, I mean with the, the 16 types of question, okay? So that 16 types of question are uh, actually under this quiz, all right? Okay, so let us uh, start with the online quiz assessment through Moodle quiz. So after this, I will use this uh, Moodle quiz. So bear in mind that whenever I mention quiz, it's uh, included test or exam or even final exam. Okay. All right, like I mentioned earlier, 
So this is the, uh, the view for the Putra Blast. If you are using Putra Blast, okay. All right. So these are the 16 uh, quiz or 16 question types of questions under quiz in Putra Blast. And if you're using Putra Mook, this is the 16 uh, type of questions under Putra Mook. Okay. Uh, we'll try to cover uh, some of these uh, types of questions, but if we don't have time, I've already uploaded uh, some of the videos to my uh, YouTube channel. All right, so what are these 16 types of uh, quiz assessment uh, under Putra Blast and Putra Mu? It's uh, including uh, matching, multiple choice question. I believe uh, many of us using this uh, multiple choice question, uh, even a true or false, and then short answer and essay, okay? But uh, not many of us using other uh, kind of uh, type of uh, assessment. For example, embedded answer or clause, and then drag and drop into text or image, or even uh, matching, okay? We'll go through one by one, okay? Okay, but... Uh, no matter what type of, of assessment, no matter what type of question that we choose, we must uh, we are encouraged to use the highest uh, PO uh, for, for our course. Okay, for example, if the PO uh, for my course is uh, C5, okay, so the no matter what kind of uh, question uh, or type of assessment that I choose, uh, it has to be the, the highest uh, PO. Okay, so that, that is, uh, I think, uh, the, the important uh, tips or point under uh, online assessment because we know that uh, students can assess uh, everywhere, anytime. Okay, so there are uh, settings that we can uh, set okay, for, for test, for example, or final uh, exam, for example. All right, so let's get started. I will demo uh, one by one. But uh, where do we start? Okay, so of course, uh, we have to create the question in the question bank. Okay, so under question bank, there are four tabs. Okay, uh, the questions, categories, import and export. Okay, for this category, I will demo how to create a category. I, I like to use uh, different categories for different uh, sets of questions because it's easy to find a question. Okay, for example, if you want to do test two, and it's not, uh, uh, it's not that we have to uh, throw every single question into that test two. Okay, maybe selected uh, topics or selected weeks uh, lesson. Okay, so it's good to have different categories so that is uh, we can manage easy to find questions, and then uh, I'll show you. I will demo how we can create a new category in that question bank okay and even i will show you i'll demo how how we can uh, import from word file okay we do have a question bank uh, using word document right so from that uh, word document it can be easily uh, imported to the moodle base okay i will show you uh, next and as well as the export uh, to various uh, document Okay, now is the, uh, okay, how to navigate your question bank in Putra MOOC platform and uh, Putra Blast platform. Okay, so it's uh, on the left pane under the administration uh, pane. Okay, uh, down here there, uh, there is Putra, uh, sorry, there is a question bank. And similarly, in Putra Blast, question bank down here. So under this uh, question bank, there are four tabs that I have mentioned earlier. The questions, which is uh, numbers, okay? The, the, the list of questions that you have created. The categories, uh, import, and then export. Okay, so let me just... Uh, 
I have to open, sorry, I have to open the Pukra Blast and Pukra Mode. Okay, while waiting for Dr. Suliati to open the documents, I would like to inform the participants. Uh, Cat has another YouTube channel, uh, the, the uh, Putra Brass, and they, from time to time, they uploaded the guideline, step-by-step -step, uh, Panduan. You can go and check it out. Okay, right. Okay. Uh, can uh, Dr. Chong, is everyone, can, can see my screen now? Can, yes. Okay. Uh, right. So, the matter you are using Putra Plus or Putra Mu is same. Okay. Uh, you have to turn editing on first, of course. Oops. It's always happened. Sorry. Right. So, turn on uh, G so that you can edit. Okay. Everything. So this is under Putra Mook, but please don't worry. It's same in Putra Blast. Okay, even I think uh, lots of participants here uh, is, is uh, better than me in Putra Blast. Okay? So this semester I'm using Putra Mook. Therefore, I, I choose to, to show you more on the Putra Mook other than Putra Blast. Okay, so where do we start to create our uh, question? Okay, it's under question bank down here. Okay. Navigate uh, to administ administration pane on the left side and then uh, click the question bank. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, you can select category. Okay, for example, I choose to have uh, different uh, categories for different uh, set of questions. Okay, uh, note that there is a bracket. Uh, after the uh, category, so this bracket uh, referring to the number of question, okay, uh, save or set in that that particular category. Okay, for example, I have uh, developed this. I have created this quiz assessment for for today's uh, webinar series. I have created this quiz assessment. So in this quiz assessment, I do have uh, around sixteen questions. Okay, to to share with you. Okay, that is the uh, category. Uh, even you can uh, tag your question uh, using uh, tag, so it's uh, you can filter every time you want to use uh, and to put into the, the the test or exam. Okay. All right. So how can you uh, create? Uh, So for all the participants, um, the one that we show now is on Putra uh, MOOC, but the layout is more or less the same uh, on Putra Brass because uh, it's all, both of the uh, Putra Brass and Putra MOOC is on the uh, Moodle's platform. Right, that's correct, Dr. Chong. Okay, now, uh, so how do you create a category okay okay create uh, let me so in putra blast or putra mu you can navigate to the category and then down here you can add category okay for example you can let us uh, okay sorry i have Okay, um, right now, uh, there's a step-by-step -step tutorials uh, uploaded by Cat. Uh, if we have time, we'll put on the chat. All right, okay, so this is uh, how you can create a category, for example, test, okay, or uh, testing, okay, testing. All right, and then you can name or put description uh, so that you can remember once you want to use that. And then add category. Okay, voila, it's here under uh, this uh, categories. Okay, it's testing, but since uh, we haven't uh, created any question, so it's still zero question here. 
Okay, so that's how we can uh, create a category, a new category in uh, Putra Blast or in uh, Putra Mode AC. Okay, I might uh, switch back to the uh, to my slide. Okay, sorry. Okay, so uh, first activity or first uh, demo that I want to show you is how to import uh, from Word document to into Moodle. Okay, so uh, you don't have to type uh, every time you want to create question in uh, for for test or for exam. Okay, but uh, this one is uh, suitable only for two types of questions. The first one is the multiple choice question, and second one is the true false. Okay, uh, uh, please uh, uh, not not to worry about the uh, these two types of question because even though it's multiple choice or even though it's true and false, but you still can create a higher taxonomy of question depending on your PO of 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 your course. Oops, sorry. Okay. In order to do that, to import uh, from Word to Moodle base, there are uh, several steps uh, that uh, we have to follow. Okay. Uh, I'll show you uh, the slide first. Then we'll do demo after that. Okay. First thing, uh, we have to get rid uh, any format. Okay, from our Word. For example, if we have page number, headers, footers, even the question number. Okay. Uh, get rid of remove all uh, formats and then uh, the option for answers uh, it should be in capital uh, a b c d with dots okay i'll show you later and underneath the question we must put answer and colon followed by uh, the answer for example the answer is b okay so answer colon b Right under this uh, question, and then the uh, we must delete okay spacing uh, any spacing between the question, and then last but not least we have to save the file as a plain text. Okay, let me show you the example. By the way, this example I took from this uh, quizzes. Uh, the link is provided down here. For example, uh, question one, okay. Uh, Port Dickson campus is a part of UPM. Uh, is it true or false? Okay. And as you can see, there is numbering and there is space here. Okay. So in order uh, for us to, uh, to import from Word to Moodle base is to uh, follow this step, right? So we must remove all the numbering, get rid of the, the numbering, the header footers, and then uh, delete all these uh, spacing in between uh, question and answers. And uh, don't forget to include underneath the question is the answer, colon, and, and, and the answer. Okay, so I have uh, pasted uh, the tutorials and also the YouTube channel links uh, for uh, if you want to learn more about Putra Brass. So uh, we have put up the, the course on Putra Brass. So you can uh, assess the course on Putra Brass on how to use Putra Brass uh, via the link that I have pasted on the chat. And then also we have about 30 something uh, uh, tutorials videos on YouTube channel. So please uh, bookmark or you can follow the channel. Okay, so this is uh, how we can see after we uh, save as uh, plain text. Okay, as you can see, no spacing between question and no numbering. And then uh, with added answer in all uh, capital, and then colon and the answer. Okay, so I might uh, want to stop this share first, and I will show you uh, back to the 
Mm, what is it? okay here? All right. Okay. So under this, let me just go back to the. Sorry, so I should show you this uh, word document. Okay, I hope that you can see. So this is the seven question that I have shown you before. Uh, there are seven question here. Okay, with uh, I have removed all the. For example, if previously there is numbering, so we get rid of the numbering. If for example there is a space and we remove the space and underneath the question we add this one okay answer and then uh, the the option okay the, the answer of the, the question oops okay all right I hope it's clear and then what we can do next is uh, to save as okay Maybe I just save as under this uh, folder and then make sure that the file format should be plain text. Okay, plain text. Since I have uh, created before, so give me that. All right. Okay, so we don't want to choose that Mac OS default and we choose other encoding and choose to Unicode UTF-8, okay? And uh, leave all like that, okay, then press okay. Okay, now you should be able to uh, see, oh, okay, I have to, okay, what you can see now, okay, so this uh, plain text, okay? So it's uh, now it's in plain text document. So this can be uh, imported into Moodle. Okay, let me just uh, go back to the. Okay, so now you have to go back to your uh, course page whether it is in Putra Blast or whether it is in Putra Mook, okay, it's same, right. So remember that we have created that plain uh, text uh, document, okay. So this is how we can import. So navigate to again to under this administration pane and then under this question bank. So click import, okay. And then import question from file, just choose icon format. And then, so if you're happy with that, okay. And then import question. So we can find the file that we have created previously is under desktop, webinar, and then Okay, the .txt file, and then perform import. All right, voila. Okay, what you can see now, uh, there are seven question. Okay, that you have created, for example. Okay, again, I took this from uh, a website. Okay, quizzes, and then I added uh, two uh, more question down here. So, seven question. If you're happy with this question and then just click continue. Okay, so this is the, the, the question. Okay, so it's under, but uh, because I have done the same uh, imported uh, previously, so I might want to... Okay. Okay, it's already in this list, okay? So it's under quiz assessment with that, uh, that seven question already added to my previous question, okay? 
So it's under this. All right. So okay. we. Do Dr. Suliati, I yeah. have a few questions to ask you. So, yeah. um, both from YouTube and also Zoom. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let me start with the Zoom first. Okay. It's from Dr. Josephine. Uh, right. She asked that um, what will happen if you forgot to remove the certain formatting, you know, like the uh, paragraph numbering and so on. And oh, then you okay. the format. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have tried. Uh, it will give error. And then it's, uh, not all questions will be transferred or uh, to be, uh, uh, you can view and after you import. Okay. Uh, in your course page. There's one question also from Dr. Josephine. Right. Uh, she asked, uh, how about the question that no, we need to insert figures. Can we import them into this uh, question bank via this method? For media, is it? Uh, uh, yes. Mm, okay. Uh, my suggestion is uh, add that, or add that uh, media, uh, whether it's a figure or uh, audio, audio later. Mm -hmm. Mm. Because otherwise, it, it will give error somehow. Yes, because you. Uh, if you want to you, import. Mm. Yeah, because you export as Unicode, right? So, yeah. Mm. All right. So, so uh, save, as, uh, save as image as uh, separately, and then you can add it. Okay. So, mm. um, yeah, there's a. Uh, I think there's one question, not the large question. It's quite heavy. We keep mm -hmm. it later. Uh, okay. Sorry, Dr. Raj, we on hold that question. I think it's an interesting question. But there's one question from uh, Ooh, YouTube. So <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, the question is about um, um, do we need to place the answer immediately after the question? And what Sorry? happens if you. Sorry, uh, what's that? If it, uh, we, do we need to place the answer immediately uh -huh. after the question? Or, uh, or can you skip that? Uh, because that that will be uh, all imported into the the Moodle base. For example, if you miss that the answer, so it, it will empty in your uh, uh, how to say in your Moodle platform. Mm. If you miss that that answers. Okay. But right. of, of course, uh, we can add or we can edit uh, settings later. But okay. yeah, you, can you don't want to type every time <laughs> you you create mm. question, right? <laughs> Right. Okay, so that's how you can import. And uh, so now, uh, okay, I forgot to mention. Uh, let me just uh, go to the for example. Okay, uh, all right. The acronym of UPM is okay. So this is one of the question that we imported just now. So as you can see here, there is a icon. Okay, so this icon under Moodle uh, platform. Is referring to the type of questions. Okay, so if you uh, bring your cursor, so it will uh, display there the multiple choice question. So this this type uh, of question is multiple MCQ question, and uh, new, this is the icon for numerical, and then uh, this is for uh, embedded uh, answers or clause and so on. Okay, and this is for matching. I forgot to mention this, uh, I, I should mention earlier, okay? And this one is, I say, uh, drag and drop into text and so on. All right, so we have finished with that uh, imported uh, uh, from Word to Moodle base. Dr. Okay. Dr. Suryati, that's one question. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... Um, this from uh, Dr. Nohayati. She asked, my friend say she has mistakenly included the answer because the student has seen the answer together with the questions. How oh, to really? Avoid. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it's near the setting uh, there. Yeah, something yeah but I, I, I haven't bumped into that uh, problem yet. But I think, okay, before... Uh, remember that that previous uh, step, I did mention that if you're happy with this, then you can continue. Okay, before continue, you can check again whether you include the answer in the question or not. Okay. Uh, okay, because uh, in in our case previously, uh, there is no uh, answer. Okay, together with the question, so that's why I click continue. 
Okay, but it's best to double confirm and check whether uh, it's you mistakenly uh, included the answer together with the question. Okay, there is one question. If we, if, if from Dr. Uh, Losalina Karim, she asked if we have two groups of students taking the same course, do we need to use, if, if we want to use the same question for both groups, can we create mm -hmm. questions only for one group? And then export to another group. I believe can because you can eh, just really? mm. yeah yeah just mm -mm. Okay. sure sure because uh you, you uh I'm not sure whether Doctor Sina will set the test uh at the same time but you can always uh I'll I'll show you okay uh maybe it's it's good now to share uh to show you how can we uh create okay so uh. The first step is done. Okay, we have uh, create the uh, questions in the uh, Moodle form. Okay, Moodle uh, question banks. Okay, now let's say I want to. Okay, let's say I want to add uh, test. Okay, here. So uh, at, at the end of it's up to you whether you want to uh, to create a new test uh, test two or a final exam for example. Okay. Or maybe you like to name a weekly. Or uh, uh, for me, I like to write the topic according to the topic. Okay, for example here. Okay, based on the the topic. Okay, and uh, so this is how you can add uh, a test or exam or a quiz. Okay, so we add uh, activity. And then this is for continuous, uh, continuous assessment. Okay, CA, uh, communication and everything. But okay, go to the and click the bubble uh, quiz, and then click add. Okay, so this is how uh, we can add a uh, new quiz or whenever I mention quiz, so it's of of course uh, same to test or exam. Okay, so let's say. Uh, name our test okay test three for example okay and then uh, normally uh, i will write instruction instruction for the students here for example uh, test duration uh, when it will be displayed online and then uh, do they have to answer all question or not okay so this is uh, the under description okay so feel free to, to write down anything. So this is, I might just want to testing for webinar. Okay, and then of course we want the student to read what we, are, we, uh, we want them to do, okay? So click uh, display description so that the student can read the instruction, okay? And uh, of course I have mentioned uh, for test or exam, we can set all these uh, parameters here, okay? For example, timing, if, for example, I want them to do uh, next week, okay? Let's say tomorrow, okay? And then uh, enable the date and then time, for example, maybe, okay? And maybe you like to give a uh, few days, for example, maybe just before a year, okay, 22, for example, okay. And then, uh, okay, and then, or if you want to give duration, okay, you can enable first, whether it's uh, week, days, hour, minute, let's say days, okay. Let's say four days or three days, you can right here, okay. And then, ah, this is important. When time expires, whether they can uh, open attempts and submit it automatically. For example, if something happened to their bandwidth or they uh, close uh, the uh, the test or the the pukramas or pukramuk, so the uh, answers will be submitted automatically. And if you want to give a grace period for the students so that they can open attempts uh, and uh, uh, it depends on the how many attempts that you give to your students, okay? But normally, if you, uh, in my case, if I have, uh, if I give the student like three attempts, I give penalty, okay, for for the uh, second and third attempts. 
or items must be submitted before time expires or they are not counted. Okay. All right. So you can choose uh, so, uh, to suit your, your course and your students. It depends on you. And then uh, the, uh, the grace period, even we can set the, uh, the grade. Okay. So normally I will just leave it here, uh, highest grade. Okay, and uh, uh, the layout, if you want to have two questions per page or every question, normally I will leave it uh, to every question, every page, but I will uh, uh, shuffle the question as well as the answers. There's one question, sorry to interrupt. Yep, uh, from, it's okay. From uh, Dr. Fatin Naziha, she asked, sorry, what is the field right next to the year four? What um, is the... Sorry. Uh, kat sini ke? Sorry. Mm. Where is it? <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we will get back to that because uh -uh. maybe there's a delay between YouTube and the Zoom. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. Sure. Mm. Maybe here? No. Okay. This, this is atom. If you want to, uh, to give the student a few atoms before submit uh, their uh, answers. All right, uh, where are we? Okay, question behavior. So uh, shuffle, it's good to shuffle question and answers because uh, we are doing tests and exams online. Uh, so All that right. they, they uh, won't- Sorry, hmm. sorry yeah. uh, Dr. Fatin say it's next to uh, 2020 that Dr. Suryati chooses 00. Ah, yes. Ah, oh, uh, it's time, it's time. Ah, uh, time. Uh, it's time. Okay. So this is the date and this is the time. I normally uh, start uh, midnight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, okay, I, I should change this to zero, zero as well. Uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so this is time and this date. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, uh, okay. I normally shuffle both question and answers because uh, it's good uh, for the student if they have uh, several items so that you know, they, uh, it will assess uh, their understanding. Okay, and then uh, review. Okay, I normally just uh, leave it that uh, session and then, okay, appearance. And all right, if you want to uh, put extra uh, setting here, okay. Uh, normally for test, uh, they will uh, complete the exercise. Then uh, after they submit, then that's mean they uh, complete the activity. Okay, and just uh, save and display. All right, so voila. Okay, we can see that uh, there's already created test three. Okay, testing for the webinar. So if you put instruction, uh, let's say you copy paste from your cover page of your test two or final exam. So it will be displayed here, okay. And uh, so the quiz will not be available until this uh, time uh, and date. Okay, remember that I choose uh, three days. Okay, so uh, the student uh, knows. Okay, uh, so the, uh, they will have to sit for this test at this particular uh, time. Okay, no matter where are they. Okay. All right. All right. So, I have to interrupt you. I'm so sorry because yep. uh, when when someone give demonstrations and then the moderator interrupt the the the, the speakers, uh, people will complain. But there's a, a lot of question flooding in, uh, in the Zoom. So I would like to read them out before before we move to another sections. So yep. okay, uh, that's from uh, that one question from uh, No Hu Xin. Uh, she asked, uh, what do you mean by shuffle between question? Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Shuffle between question is uh, you change uh, randomly uh, the sequence of the question as well as the uh, options, the answers. Okay. So mm -hmm. I think Dr. Raj also asked a question about shuffle. I think uh, that one is addressed by you already. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I still have a few questions from Dr. Raj that I think we can discuss at the end. At the so, end. <laughs> so there's one. Uh, can you show uh, from Dr. Hazura, can you show example assessments that involve calculations where students need to show the working step, the calculation, the working calculations? 
Uh, uh, that, mm, that will yeah. be number number seven. So we are it's still in the, the first uh, uh, okay. type of question. Because she say um like the yeah, uh, doctor Azrina mm. say she has prepared the calculation type of question and found that yeah. only allowed to provide final answer. Student lost mark and get zero if they give different answer. How can we mm. set that the step can be you know given some points? Yep. Okay. That okay. Uh, I don't know whether we have time for to to jump to that uh the uh, type of question, but uh actually there are lots of setting when uh I mean using the uh, numerical or mathematics uh question. Okay. Uh, lots of uh. uh tolerance that you can change uh, but I, I don't think we have enough time to show because that, that will be the, the last uh, demo but uh, for mathematics uh, based uh, question uh, there are extension for the model uh, and then uh, if you have the equation in latex uh, you can uh, import from latex as well okay and for this Moodle uh, version 3.5, they already uh, upgrade uh, in a way that you can uh, just uh, create your, uh, I'll show you in the num numerical later, uh, that you can create the equation in the Moodle form directly. Okay, so this is uh, in, in uh, version, Moodle version 3.5, it's already equation editor there, uh, similar to what uh, where you can uh, click to that uh, equation editor and you can uh, create your your equation. But uh, of course, there are lots of uh, settings uh, for the student to, to answer. Okay, we'll, we'll go back to, to that uh, demo example later. Okay, please continue uh, because uh, I believe you have more. Yeah, although there's many questions on, on how to, but I think we need to continue because this is only the first step, right? So uh -huh. yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay. So we have created test three. Okay. Or uh, final exam or test one, no matter. Okay. Uh, but uh, the analogy is this: we have a box. Okay. Now the box is empty because, as you can see here, no question have been added yet. So, uh, where is the the, the seven uh, created uh, question previously? Okay. So, uh, what we can do next is uh, edit quiz. So again, quiz is uh, similar to exam and test. Okay. All right. Okay. So it will bring you to this uh, view. So editing quiz uh, three, okay, test three. You can see here uh, shuffle. Okay. So the shuffle is uh, like I mentioned earlier, you, uh, it will randomly uh, change the sequence of the question and the answer. I normally will uh, tick yes. And then even you can edit uh, the maximum grade. For example, if you want uh, uh, that grade to be 50, okay? So you can have, you can just type in 50 and so on, okay? So it, it depends. So the, uh, the, the system, the Moodle system will automatic uh, grade uh, for uh, automatically grading uh, for you, okay? At the end of, of the test, you will see uh, it's already graded uh, according to this uh, maximum grade you have mentioned here. Okay, for example, 10. All right, and then here, you can see that uh, this rate add. So this is where you can add your question, okay? So of course, you always can uh, create a new question or you want to uh, take your question from question bank, okay? The one that you have uh, uh, created before, you have, uh, you have imported before, okay? If I choose that uh, uh, from the question bank, so it will bring you to the question bank that we have created before and then select the category. Remember that uh, I, I put this under this one, right? Quiz assessment. Okay, so, so the question is actually uh, here, okay? But it's a uh, duplicate because I, I did uh, a few times. Okay, for example, if you want to okay, uh, choose the question, okay, let's say I choose all, okay, all, sorry, maybe not the uh, different, maybe the MCQ first, okay, all right, so add uh, selected, 
question to the quiz. So what uh, we can see next now under test three, there are already 14 questions. Okay, 14 questions. Previously is zero. So 14 questions. So different students will have a different view because we, we click the shuffle here. Okay. So even until this step, you still can edit. Okay, remember that previously you, you want uh, how many, let's say 100 maximum grade. But here, let's say uh, this is uh, C5 or, or C4 uh, to, uh, to assess the student understanding. Okay, and then calculate uh, calculation. So you might want to give, for example, four. So you can do so, okay? So uh, four here or five here and so on. So uh, the model will do uh, the rest for you, okay? To meet your maximum grade here. Okay, that, that is good uh, about the Moodle form. Uh, but I should say uh, uh, this, okay? Uh, the automatic uh, grading is good for multiple choice, true and false uh, question, the short answer, uh, what else? Uh, for, uh, for example, for essay, you have to grade manually, okay, for essay. Uh, maybe you can uh, put instruction that the student have to write, to type, or to snap their answers and then send in. And then uh, that way you have to grade manually, then it, it won't uh, be added here. Okay. All right. So, choice. Okay. Okay, if you want to delete some of the question, like in my case, uh, lots of uh, overlap uh, question, duplicated question, you can do so. Okay, and okay, let's say I might want to change this to 100. Okay, so it's already uh, in the, where you added. So if you go, if you navigate to your uh, navigation, to your uh, lessons uh, weekly, so you can, okay, see, now you already have a question here, okay? Okay, let me just show you. This is uh, what you will see, okay? So this is what basically the student will see. Okay, uh, they can, uh, if you see here, the option is also uh, imported from the word, okay, uh, to the Moodle. So, well, yeah, the student can answer. Uh, but in this case, 14 question. All right, so that's all for this uh, importing from word to Moodle uh, base. No matter you are using Putrablas or Putramu, it's same, okay. All right, so I might uh, switch to the uh, my PowerPoint. Okay, for the second. Uh, okay, so uh, second one is about the uh, second uh, types of question under quiz. Okay, it's a matching activity in Moodle. Okay, so uh, matching activity is like if you have a set of uh, words or text or sentences, and uh, on the other side you have different uh, word text and sentences and you want the student to match. For example, if you uh, give uh, a video, short video or movie or an article to the students and you want them to understand uh, the concept uh, behind that, that movie or behind the, uh, the video. So you put uh, the, the question on the, uh, one side and the other side is the, the answer, for example, okay? So you want, uh, your student to watch the movie, then do the exercise. Okay, do do, and you can assess whether they understand uh, or not. That can be uh, considered as uh, activity uh, or assessment uh, under quiz. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So it's recommendation if uh, it's good if you have uh, movie related or the article and so on. So I uh, now I'm showing you what I have uh, uh, done uh, in my uh, Putramu. Okay, so this is uh, 
for example, I'll show you uh, later, by the way. And this is uh, what you can see for this uh, matching question. For example, uh, one set of uh, uh, sentences of text, okay? For example, in this case, I just uh, give a word, okay? I want them, uh, the students understand for facilities and uh, they are uh, uh, set up, okay? Or, or machine, whatever, okay? So it's two set of uh, different uh, things that you want the student to match, okay? And this is the example of uh, the matching Okay, uh, there will be drop list here that the student can click and choose the answer, for example, like this. Okay, uh, for example, list down the level of design concept. So uh, they must follow step by step. Okay, so for example, I put here level one. Okay, so what, what is level one uh, step? Okay, so they and not that I put extra uh, word here. Okay, this is only five questions, but I put uh, extra words. So this is so called distractor. Okay, distractor, so that the students uh, uh, have to think. Okay, so which which one is the correct answer? Okay, uh, let me just uh, show you the. To your course page. All right. So now navigate your again to the question bank. And then this time we want to create a new question. Okay. First of all, make sure that you select a correct category. Okay. For example, I want to. Uh, I want to create under test three, okay? Okay, and then create a new question. So from these uh, 16 types of uh, questions, so previously we have learned about this uh, multiple choice to enforce that we imported from Word. Okay, now it's matching. So the answer to each of number of sub question okay. okay for example okay I have a uh, prepared uh, maybe I just okay import let me just uh, find my File. Okay, matching activity. Okay, so uh, this is uh, okay. The word, uh, let's say we want to try this one. Okay, the drama thing. Okay, so I hope that, that you, you can see. Uh, Okay, let's say the question is match the cast with the drama. Okay, and just testing here or again, this is can be your instruction uh, to the students. Okay, and default mark, let's say you give uh, five question or 10 question, uh, it's up to you what uh, point that you want to give to the students. And I always uh, click shuffle, okay. Okay, so this is where you should put the uh, your set of, of, of question, okay? This side and this side, okay? So for example, all right, let's say uh, cast and the, okay. And, okay, let's say, Question two, okay, let's say, uh, 
Dia pun tak ingat. Okey. Okay, while uh, Dr. Suryati is uh, yep. showing the questions, uh, Dr. Suryati, you can go ahead and type the questions. Yep, sure. I would, I would like to uh, inform the participants because we received many, many requests to show like step-by-step step how to do true or false, step-by-step uh, step how to do uh, calculation type of questions. There are many, many requests on step-by-step. Step. So uh, we can't address them in this uh, sections of seminar at uh all, we can't address all the requests. However, uh, Kat do make the panduan and also videos and uh, on the channels. And I already shared the channels and also panduan on the chat. Please refer to the chat and panduan. And this also again tell us that um, uh, our educator, some of us still do not really know how to do Putra Blast and maybe they do not have idea with Kat already prepared the panduan for us. So hmm. okay, take this opportunities, uh, go and follow the YouTube channels of the yep. Putra Brass. They have a lot of video there on each type of question and so on. And hmm. I think a lot of uh, open-ended questions asked by the participants about two things, about reliable. There are so many questions. I think we can discuss that at the end. Okay? Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay, so this is how you create uh, for the matching uh, question. It's just uh, testing. Okay, I put cuss and the student have to match with the drama. Okay, and uh, I put as well additional three answers for the distractor that I mentioned earlier. And then uh, save, change. Okay, of course you can uh, always go back and then change the, uh, the setting. So after we create, for example, this one is under uh, matching question under this category, okay, test three category. So I, uh, I, we have created one question, okay. So that is one uh, in the bracket. All right, so this is uh, the question we just created. And then to view, click uh, at the magnifying glass here. Okay, so this is view. And if you want to edit, you can just uh, go to the, the second icon here. So this is, uh, if you want to go back to the question and you want to edit, okay? And this is uh, the view, okay? For example, uh, match the cast with the uh, drama, okay? For example, uh, Remy Sa. So what, what kind of drama, okay? And then uh, see, there is uh, there are three uh, uh, cast and but more answers here, okay? So that, that is for the uh, distractor purposes. All right, so uh, I can close this one. Oops, okay. Okay, so I have to okay view this one first. All right. Okay, so this is exactly what uh, I have a demo just now. Okay, it's exactly like this. So that is uh, you can have uh, various types of matching question. Okay, in fact, you can use uh, image as well. Okay, next one, I'll show you the, uh, the third uh, types of question under quiz, which is embedded answers or clause. Okay, uh, it's a bit tricky, but it's doable. Uh, I'll explain later what, what uh, I mean by a bit tricky, but doable. Okay, because uh, we, we can embed uh, different uh, types of question, for example, multiple choice, numerical, short answer, and so on, into, into, one, into one question, okay? Uh, and this will uh, need uh, a bit formatting, but uh, it's not, it's not uh, formatting, but just use a simple uh, symbol, I should say, okay? So this is the, the format uh, question text for embedded uh, answers or clause, okay? For example, uh, in, a, in a paragraph, you want the student to answer uh, with short answer, 
okay you can uh, insert in that uh, i'll show you anyway uh, later okay uh, if you want the student to give a short answer you can just write or uh, just type in the sa stand for short answer or you can even uh, full in full okay short answer or if you want uh, the student answer numerical okay so you just uh, put an m in that block of question okay and or if you choose to have uh, in between text or paragraph of your question uh, there will be multiple choice so you can set that in fact okay if you uh, you will the student will see a drop list of several options okay in that case you have to use mc for multiple choice and so on okay so this is uh, the format uh, needed under uh, embedded answers all right like i said earlier it's not that uh, it's not that coding okay it's like uh, it's only using several like uh, curly bracket and then tidal a colon and so on okay for example so this is the step by step but uh, uh, i will show you the example okay so this is what i have done uh, for example this is the question okay uh, a mass environment for clean room included uh, so this is so called the block okay or the question that you want the student to fill in so this is block one, block two, block three, four, five, and so on. Okay. So uh, I, I put here as well. Okay. In uh, I show you later. So in the uh, setting, what you can write in between if you want to ask the student here. So you put this uh, uh, characters. Okay. A little bit uh, formatting needed. For example, this is block one, block two, and so on. So remember that, uh, okay, uh, the first thing is to put the curly bracket. This is to show uh, that question or the block. Secondly, type number of uh, the, the question, okay, number one, for example, to start to begin with, and then uh, colon, and then the sh what kind of question that you choose, for example, SA for short answer or multiple choice MC and so on. And then close with the colon as well. And if you have answer, uh, so you put the title after that and then the answer. Okay, so this is the example. Okay, all right. Down here, I highlighted with the, the yellow I highlighted here. So first is the curly bracket and then number one. Okay, let's say, uh, uh, and I choose short answer, okay, short answer question, and I put the, the answers is contaminant, okay? So contaminant is, I give a uh, full mark, which is correct, okay, for, for this answer. So I put uh, percentage and then 100 is for uh, that, that mark, okay, dedicated for that correct answer, and then close with the percentage. And then, uh, I also uh, put different option so that uh, uh, the student can think, okay? And I put not only contaminant, I put particle as well as dirty, but this one is zero because it's not the correct answer, okay? So this is uh, a little bit formatting needed in the uh, embedded uh, answers or clause, okay? All right. Should I just, just go straight to the essay and then uh, we'll go back to the course page? Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. go okay. ahead. All right. And so, uh, there's one question, will the answer be case sensitive? Yeah. Uh, no, there, there is a, a set, uh, that is a parameter or a place where you can set whether you want it to be sensitive or not. It's, it's just, uh, you just click that. Okay, uh, when we go to the course page, I will show you. Okay, Dr. Chong? Okay, sure. Right. Okay, so next one is the essay. So normally, uh, like I, I mentioned earlier, uh, we always uh, do that, uh, choose the multiple choice, true and false, and then short answer and essay. 
Okay, so but SA you have to grade manually. Okay, because uh, uh, but uh, maybe that there is a way to do or uh, to use uh, Moodle. But in, in my case, I prefer to mark or uh, to grade manually because uh, I don't want to miss uh, any point for the students. Okay, but it's uh, pretty straightforward in SA. I show uh, I will demo later. Okay, for example. The question uh, is, in your opinion, why is uh, most law getting harder to keep going? Okay, so that the student whether can answer here. Okay, sorry, so this is the uh, the place where the student can answer. Or if you want them to submit or to snap uh, uh, their answers, you can do so. Uh, I will show you later where you can, uh, in fact, select what type of uh, answer that you want the student to submit, for example, uh, image or uh, they can type and so on. Okay, so uh, very straightforward for the essay uh, uh, kind of uh, type of question. Okay, and this is another example of essay. All right, and uh, for this question, what are the three sequential steps in the deal group mechanism? And I want the student to sketch and illustrate. So in this case, they have to sketch and illustrate uh, the answer. So in this case, uh, I must uh, have uh, said the, uh, where the student can submit. Okay, whether it's you want them to do video so that you know that they, they understand, for example, or you want them to sketch and then snap pictures and so on. Okay. Maybe I, I just go straight uh, to the, uh, the grading uh, and then we'll go back to the uh, course page, okay? So this, uh, this is what you will see uh, in that test tree previously. For example, if you have asked your question to un answer the question and uh, when the, the test expires, then this is what you can see, the, the grade or the, the submission. Okay, from the students. I, I haven't a great uh, for, for this test yet. This is for just for demo. So you can see that up here, there is a number of question and the uh, mark, okay, uh, with the weightage, okay, mark here, okay. And uh, green means uh, the student answers correctly. And okay, so I want to, uh, show you this one requires grading so normally for requires grading this is actually essay questions okay uh, it's not that uh, all question uh, uh, i created only a multiple choice but normally i will uh, use uh, most of the time i will mix okay with uh, using several types of uh, quizzes so for requires training uh, grading it's like uh, essay or uh, calculation, okay, uh, complicated calculation, okay. I, I haven't done that uh, very uh, complicated calculation like uh, 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 differential, okay, for example. It's like uh, for simple uh, calculation, I've tried using a numerical, okay, and, and it works. Okay. And if the student answers are uh, wrong, so there, there will be zero, okay? But I normally will go through one by one and uh, for each student, uh, even though the system already uh, great for you, but I normally will check uh, one by one uh, again to double confirm the answers, okay? So that we don't miss uh, any point from the for the students. Okay, uh, and short answer, always uh, my, my favorite, okay? It's very straightforward that the student can answer uh, in, in uh, a few words, okay? If you notice from the essay, essay is, uh, sorry, essay having a bigger space, but a short answer is only one line provided for the student to answer. All right, uh, drag and drop into text, for example, like this, okay? Uh, you can uh, use, uh, image or a schematic diagram that you want the student to understand. Uh, in this case, in this uh, drag and draw text, 
or you can choose drag and drop image. Okay. So I want the student answer by drag this uh, options into the uh, where I put the uh, space here. Okay. But of course, I do have uh, extra uh, distractor down here. Okay. So that uh, the, uh, the student uh, will think uh, carefully first. Okay. And uh, before they answer and submit. So this is the drag and drop uh, type of question. Okay. And this is the numerical. Uh, it's uh, basically it's, uh, same like short answer, but it's allowed a range of uh, uh, how to say answers. Okay. For example, you want that plus minus error deviation. Okay. So you can use this numerical. Okay. For example, I put this, uh, I uh, include this uh, figure that the student have to calculate the percentage of set wall uh, coverage, for example, okay? So uh, they have to calculate and then uh, give answers here, okay? So this is uh, like the, the question uh, previously by, by our participant. It's uh, straight, uh, it's uh, straightforward because the, that the student have to answer the thought, uh, the end answer here, okay? So if you want them to submit uh, the, the uh, jalan kira or the uh, solution, you can always uh, add here uh, the, uh, whether they, they have to submit their calculation or not. So other than this answer, you can also check, double check with their solutions. Okay, In that case, you won't miss any point for, for the students. All right. Uh, so this is uh, the, the example of grading that I've shown you before. Okay. And what you can see is actually the, the student names, uh, uh, the enroll into your class and then uh, with their particulars. Okay. And whether, in fact, you can check whether they cheat or not. Okay. Uh, for example, this student, they, uh, she uh, accidentally uh, click that, that test uh, before the, uh, the test date. And it's, uh, it's actually, uh, I forgot to turn off uh, during, uh, uh, initially I gave uh, the test, which is on the way Saturday, okay? I forgot that that is a uh, public holiday. So I forgot to close that, that te test and then one of the student access to the test, okay? So you can see here, okay? The, the student access the test one day before uh, the test date, okay? And then uh, after that, I close the test and then, but uh, I, I can check which question that he, uh, she, she attempted, okay? Uh, during that, that day. All right, so that, that is good about the uh, Moodle-based uh, assessment. All right, so let me just close this one first and then, uh, Dr. Chow, do, do, do we still have time or? Yeah, it's up to you. We actually exceed the times, but I think uh, while because there's many requests on step step by step things, uh, mm -hmm. and actually this is actually our third webinars on assessment, online assessment. But mm -hmm. yet uh, the question is still overwhelming, and I can see that a lot of questions are repeated. Mm -hmm. So we've been asked before, but then asked now maybe they just join your webinar, not the previous one. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I think we have a lot of overwhelming questions here. Okay, so now do you want to address and discuss the questions now or you want to, it's up to you, yeah. Uh, okay, because uh, I think that, that uh, it will take like, it's already one now. Okay, it's, it's up to, okay. because I'm so, having, uh, Let's discuss because uh, we have uh, all the step-by-step -step tutorials available, but I think we address some core mm. questions because uh, the, mm. the, the tutorials on how to do, uh, they can access through the Panduan. So yeah. I, uh, I think mm. we go and discuss certain questions that worth for us to discuss. And yeah. if the participants on the Zoom, do we, if you want to join the discussion, you just raise your hands and then we can unmute you. Right. So the questions, uh, I think a lot of them asked inside the q and is more or less about cheating, copying, doing the mm -hmm. test together, joining multiple devices, one device to 
answer another device to 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 find the answer find the answer ah. online yeah. yeah yep and then also the question about um uh okay um i think it's like can we if we set lim on one hand if we set time limitations then the internet problem will be the issue for student but if you not set the time limitations then cheating will be another issues so there are, i think a lot of question about this and then notaraj also asked about what's a reliable e external e assessment tools okay uh, uh, i can can i can can i discuss this i actually yeah. quite interested mm. with all this question yeah. so sure. um, okay what happened is i realized because by rights uh, this four weeks is accountable for two academic weeks mm, that's so uh, and a, a lot of people still have the mindset that assessment or assessment is equal to written test or quiz or exam so mm. they they feel that okay this four weeks is too overwhelming for them they don't know what to do so they create, create quiz and i do the stress check with my students ah uh, Uh, last two weeks, their stress level increased because I I do the survey with them, and then they the feedback to me is like a lot of lectures do assignment and assessment, so um because they think that is online activities, but uh, we need to back to the 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 teaching and learning itself. Can these activities enhance student understanding and the fairness? Also, whether how fair is as this this activity to the students. Uh, maybe they need to adapt to the new environment, new learning tools, new learning media. At the same time, they need to prepare for exam. That stress is quite high. So, and and then you know, in my faculty, we have the weekly report. And then one of the question is like, do you prepare a uh, a quiz or an assignment? That is just yes or no only. But they actually create a pushing force. Uh, transparently to certain lectures that misunderstand the purpose of the weekly report and force them they feel that they're being forced to create assessment so mm. i think yeah if you think for me i believe formative is like if this is a excellent tools for us to check the understanding of the student and mm. then also push them to re- do the revisions but if you want to measure them from summatively unless like you say you your tips Uh, you're giving a good, very good tips. The cognitive level set to be the highest that assigned mm. to your course, so that um, so that open-ended questions uh, and also maybe more fit to local situations. Uh, you take one example for like let's say I'm fish immunology. I take one local disease and so on. So they can't really find online. They need to think and then digest the knowledge and answer. That will be good. If you want to measure that summatively, or if not, yeah, we can't avoid the cheating unless we use external tools. There are many, many external tools. They measure your eye movement, facial expressions, your hand gesture. Once you do something different, then they will they will determine that you are actually cheating. So there are many, many online tools available, but need payment, need a uh, subscription fee. Yeah, okay. but but I don't think we need to go until that. I think this. This period, we need to enhance the student. Uh, we need to make sure T and L continue going on, uh, if efficiently. But doesn't mean we are being forced to measure them and then ask the quiz, because at the very very beginning, our first online webinar is alternative assessments by Prof Wong. Yeah, I think we yes, need right. to be creative. Yeah, yes. Mm. Anything you want to add on? Yeah, I'm too overwhelming. Yeah. I, I I excited with this question. So I okay, like can to... I uh, add? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I still remember in one of the webinar series by I think Doctor uh, Nuaira. Okay. Uh, she shared uh, on the the title if I'm not mistaken, uh, e examination or e final examination something like that. But Uh, that we can uh, use her tips, okay? How to minimize the the cheating? cheating yeah. Okay, that, um, that that is very good. Uh, videos for you to to have a look and learn. Uh, yeah. In fact, uh, for for my session, it's not that uh, detailed previously, but uh, in Dr. Nuaira's uh, session, webinar series, it's quite detailed. Uh, 
if you want to you know uh, uh, for example each question uh, how you how you can create that question uh, so that the setting, student yeah. yes and that the student uh, don't have time to to cheat or to search using second device or well of course it's uh, open book text but uh, you can minimize the, the yeah. cheating yeah. Mm. so also, also yeah i i think um judging from all the questions we have today i believe uh there's still a lot of people ask uh, like don't know how to attach files through the questions and so on mm. and a lot of questions related to the 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 how to so i think uh we we can recommend uh maybe uh each faculty uh publicize the panduan that cat met mm -hmm. so they can accept it and yep. also uh, i think for all these questions i believe maybe in future the webinar we still need to do more uh, uh, okay. uh putra bras yes because putra bras uh, a lot of users still do have a lot of basic questions that they want to ask mm, okay. and one, 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 one thing I would like to add if you do you allow the quiz for group works students can see their group member answer because it's mm. supposed to be group and if you accidentally set it as submit as group then you student can see the other student answer because I see the discussion is saying that student can copy answer from the others uh, uh, group. yes so so if you set is individual they can't refer to the other students question mm -hmm. and all the uh, yeah there's few comments uh, uh, all these sections recorded i think we are recorded and on our uh, youtube of uh, please follow our cat youtube and also putra bus you can access this current video and also uh, the previous videos in the youtube channels okay. yeah so um, uh, please uh, Putra Blas, uh, Putra Blas channel. Okay, they have already uploaded lots of videos, uh, detailed tutorial. Please have a look and yeah. So uh, hopefully this will help you a little bit. Okay, thank there's you. Few more questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Doctor Nohusin says uh, a bit confusing. Confusing here is if we upload the export the question bank with the answers, and we don't want students to see the answer. But we already included it at the bottom. So how is it's gonna to work? I believe this is to export to the question banks, and when you import, you can change in the setting. You, this mm. is also for auto credings to tell the system what is the correct answers. Yes. Uh, doesn't mean yeah. you show the answer to the student. No. Uh, mm, this yes. is uh, the, the in the Moodle. So Moodles know that. So this is the answer. So it's and automatically. And few things here. There's a difference between how you set quiz through through uh, quiz like you you teach us, mm -hmm. uh, you taught us now, and mm -hmm. also versus how how they set quiz through uh, big blue buttons. Big blue button is ah. like uh, when they set quiz, uh, yeah. they straight away take the get the feedbacks. So mm. if you accidentally set the the quiz uh, through the BBB. Then they can straight away get the feedback. That is actually for formative, and you want to let them test their understanding. But if you mm. want to grade them, this will be the best. Yeah, I mm, think they confused about these two. Yeah. BBB. So BBB is more on the activities, like fun activities, uh, interactive. So the, the student uh, learn while uh uh how to say go through the lessons, but assessment is is uh different. BBB is more on the activities, fun activities, and so on. All right. I think. Uh, do you have anything to add on, or you want to uh, show, or uh, then no, or, or else think, we can end? Yeah. Uh no. I think uh if you have time, I I have put up a few videos, and I'm going to put more. Uh, especially the uh, uh types of question that uh I haven't shown you step by step. I put up uh, under uh, under my channel. It's, it's not that that true channel, but you can always find my name uh, uh, in the YouTube, right? That's can, all. Can you channel. share the screen of your channels? Then I we come up for you, yep, so people sure. can yeah yeah. Ah uh, sure.
All right, so let me go through all the questions. I think a lot of uh, how to, I think uh, I would like to encourage mm. everyone to check on the, uh, the Putra Bus YouTube channels. And I will also uh, highly uh, encourage you all to, uh, to, to think about how you want to make your T and L effect efficiently. You're not <laughs> compulsory to do assessment now. You need to discuss with, interact with your students, uh, communicate with your students. And if you want to check their understanding, yeah, you can do that without grading. But if you really, for some reason you need to do, then you need to really design your assessment nicely. Yeah. Okay, uh, you want to share the screen? Uh, uh, which one? Your YouTube channels. Oh, okay. To, uh, uh, yes, so people can follow your channels. This one, is it? Uh, you can... haven't shared the screen yet. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> right. hey. Other? Okay. Okay, yes. All right. So everyone, if you want to follow the channels, can uh, can you can, can just find uh, my name or write down Putra Mo or Putra Bas. So it would be there. Okay, all right. Because of the time factors. Um, yeah, thanks for the sharing. We learned mm -hmm. a lot today. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, the, everyone. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. And also thank you for all the participants uh, that joins our uh, webinars can um, um, please join our future webinars uh, that we will going to organize from time to time. Thank you, everyone. So, so, thank you, uh, Associate Professor Dr. Suryati. Um, thank you. Right, thank you, everyone. Thank you.